Hello, fellow AI enthusiasts. It's Matt Vidpro AI reporting to you from the surface of the sun, as you can clearly tell. Yeah, I really do need to work on this whole setup situation. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. Maybe, maybe that's a little bit better. Today, I want to talk about the speculation of the AI image generation future. I want to talk about topics on this channel that aren't just the latest and greatest AIs. That's why I'm making my whole new AI news section weekly video updates on all of the greatest happening in AI news so I can focus on other topics like this. Today we're going to be trying to answer the question of will there be a Dolly 3? An updated version of Dolly that's better, more efficient, more coherent. And I think we've come pretty close to an answer based on some information. And oh, by the way, before we get into things, highly, highly recommend that you folks at home join my Discord server, which will be linked down below. We have an entire Discord channel made just for you to access completely free AI. So there's tons of different AI listed in there for stable diffusion, as well as a ton of other AIs. Not only that, the latest in AI news is posted there every single day. And it's just a really great, wholesome community. And I want to thank everyone who's already in there for being a part of it. Fun fact, guys, I actually just ran out of Dolly 2 credits. And it's kind of been leaving me for the first time ever, actually, because I've bought Dolly 2 credits several times. Do I want to keep buying Dolly 2 credits? I know there are other methods of getting Dolly, by the way. It's offered on Playground AI for much, much cheaper, as well as Open Art for much cheaper, and a few other places around the internet as well. But I don't even know if I want Dolly 2 in the first place now. Because as you may have seen earlier in the week, I talked about Midjourney version 4. Folks, here is my Midjourney profile. And lately I've been clearly doing quite a bit of generation with Midjourney version 4. And it's spitting out results that I don't think Dolly 2 could beat. In fact, we did make a whole video about it. So obviously it's all subjective, but in my opinion at least, Midjourney version 4, which is still in alpha, it's not even completed by the way, is beginning to surpass. Dolly 2 in quality. Some of these generations, they're so intricate, they follow the prompt so well, they're so creative. Beautiful colors and creativity, the likes that we have never seen before with these AI technologies. And of course, the pricing is better with Midjourney with their unlimited generation subscription model. And the coherency of Midjourney v4 is just really getting up there. And a lot of people have been agreeing with me. The community feed is absolutely insane. Look at this beautiful, intricate portrait of this cat, for example. I don't know, toilet paper monster? Sure, it looks really, really good. Adding those little details, high coherency, you get the point. Fantastic generations. Wow, I really like this one. Fantastic generations with Midjourney. I mean, just absolutely mind-boggling, unbelievable stuff. And not only is Midjourney version 4 really, really fantastic, and goes head-to-head -head with Dolly, if not punching above Dolly, Imogen, which is Google's unreleased text-to-image model, which appears to be highly coherent and can actually spell, which Midjourney still can't do and I know Dolly can't do, is going to be released in a small little public beta access on the AI Test Kitchen app, which is available for your iPhone and your Android devices. So this model, which is looking like it's fantastic, is going to be able to be tested by the public for the first time very soon on AI Test Kitchen, which I recommend you guys sign up for. So this model obviously looks like it's better than Dolly 2 as well. So, you know, these different models are now surpassing Dolly 2, which kind of was used to be known at least to be the king of AI in terms of coherency and quality. Now that no longer seems to be the case, with the declining popularity of Dolly 2 over time, as you can see on Google Trends, just the search term in general has been declining for a while, actually a while now. It's actually still a far cry though from what it used to be even when it was more consistent. Will OpenAI, the company that made Dolly 2, continuously update Dolly 2 and or create a Dolly 3, a successor? I mean, the obvious answer would be, of course they would. Why wouldn't they want to compete with the other companies in the field that they seem to be operating in? Dolly 2 is their most popular product, after all. Well, it does seem to be the case that this might not actually be so true, that OpenAI might actually not want to continuously compete with other competitors in this field. They might not release a Dolly 3. 
The original Dolly announcement was extremely exciting. We had never seen anything like it before. I remember how excited I was even to just try out these demos to see how good it really was. And it really was a very, very good model ahead of its time even, I would say, just only by a few months. But if we come all the way down here to the end of the announcement and we really take a closer look at things, I mean, really look. Our hope is that Dolly 2 will empower people to express themselves creatively. Dolly 2 also helps us to understand how to advance AI systems and to understand our world, which is critical to our mission of creating AI that benefits humanity. So that's this company's mission. It's not to create competitive AI technologies with other companies. It's just to develop AI as a whole and create AI that benefits humanity. Their mission statement goes a little bit deeper than this. Their mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. What is artificial general intelligence though? This is known as AGI in the space. And here OpenAI actually defines it for us. AGI is highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work, benefiting all of humanity. They want to directly build safe and beneficial AGI, but they'll also apparently be satisfied if their work just benefits everyone as a whole. This is really, really important here. Fulfilled if our work aids others to achieve this specific outcome, who might those others be? Well, I think it's very arguable to say that Dolly 2 has prompted everyone else in this field sprung something up. Midjourney, for example, has highly been benefited by the competition scene with Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2. Dolly 2, again, came out before Stable Diffusion for sure and Imogen, and I'm not sure about Midjourney, but Dolly 2's high coherency and being the best for so long has really aided everyone as a whole in this field by creating stuff like Midjourney v4, which is now better than Dolly 2, and or Imogen, for example, which again seems like it could very well be better than Dolly 2 at a number of things. So then, by OpenAI's very own definition, their mission could be fulfilled with Dolly 2 in specific, just Dolly 2's mission, because it has already aided others indirectly to achieve this greater outcome of better image generation technology. So, has Dolly 2 completed its purpose? Does it no longer need updates? Do we not need a Dolly 3 from OpenAI's perspective? Well, this might very well be the case. I think OpenAI has been focused on Dolly 2 for quite some time now. Dolly 2 was a very important product. And coming back here into Google Trends, Comparing Dolly 2, OpenAI's, again, most popular product to their second most popular product, which is GPT-3, the text language model, it's not even a competition in popularity. I mean, Dolly 2 is still far more popular than GPT-3 is. And you can see even when Dolly 2 hit its most popular point, GPT-3 barely even benefited from it. My point being that I don't think OpenAI sees Dolly 2 as their endgame product at all or a product they want to continue offering. They just saw Dolly 2 more as a stepping stone to further their research in AI development or AGI development. And it certainly benefited them very much, but I think they might sort of be closing the doors on Dolly, so to speak. If we trail back now and look at the original date, when Dolly 2 was first announced, April 6th, this is when signups opened and the, the crazy blast off happened. I remember signing up on this day. Since then, we got a research preview update, pre training mitigations, talking about safety issues with Dolly and learning about all of that, how Dolly 2 can extend creativity. I mean, these four in a row were just posts about Dolly, reducing bias and improving safety. Dolly 2 then going into beta, inviting way, way more users, then updating and overhauling the entire Dolly editor, which wasn't that long ago at August 31st. This is the crazy outpainting editor, which really made Dolly feel like it was more of a real product and not just something that was fun to mess around with. And finally, they released Dolly 2 completely to the public. Everyone can access it now on September 28th. And then right after that, I think this was the final closing mark for Dolly 2. The Dolly API is now available in public beta, meaning that companies can pay OpenAI to use the Dolly 2 API 
thus allowing the companies to incorporate Dolly 2 generation into whatever product they might be, whether it be a Discord bot or a website or whatever crazy idea they could imagine. They can now pay OpenAI to use Dolly 2 to make money in the future. So their final mark with Dolly 2. And I think not only the influence that Dolly has had on Midjourney, for example, or Imogen, making these models more competitive and better, things like even Stable Diffusion, which I haven't mentioned. Stable Diffusion releasing was a shot towards Dolly, basically saying, hey, we made an open source text to image generator, and while it might not be as coherent as Dolly 2, it's more efficient, meaning it costs less GPU power to produce an equal image. And it's completely open source, meaning anyone can do whatever they want with it. But now people could just directly use Dolly 2 if they really want to through the API. So does OpenAI really care about making a better Dolly? Are they going to invest those resources to make a better Dolly 2? And while this might be kind of upsetting, I think the answer really is no. I don't think OpenAI really cares that much about creating another text image generator. But I, I really do think this is the end of the road for Dolly 2. One important thing to note, though, that doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to make any more cool AI products, right? I mean, they still want to work on that AGI thing. Google has released Imogen Video, for example, which is sort of a build-off of their image generation Imogen. They made this paper in showing off the capabilities of text-to-video in the future with AI, which is just honestly far, far more exciting and anticipating than something like text to image. This is really, really powerful, as if text to image wasn't powerful enough. I definitely think OpenAI is going to develop a text to video model. I think they really do want to do research in that, and I think it's going to go the same route as Dolly. It might even be called Dolly Video. So, will there be a Dolly 3? No, but there might be a Dolly Video. That's sort of my take on things. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think? that what I'm saying is true? Do you think they're going to continue and update, make a new image generator to compete with the rest? Or are they really more just focused on the future? Either way, I think for the time being at least, Dolly 2 still does have its uses, especially with the outpainting. Actually, if I were to recommend you guys to use Dolly 2 in any way possible, I recommend generating something beautiful here in Midjourney and then taking it into the Dolly 2 outpainting editor and outpainting that photo and editing and tweaking that photo you made with something like Midjourney, which my opinion right now is a more powerful model than Dolly 2. But yes, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I just had to get this idea I've had in my head off my chest and into the world, and I really want to hear what you guys think. Chat with me about it in my Discord server. Chat with me about it down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Don't forget to look out for that AI news roundup, by the way. This week, we had a lot of really great AI news on the table, and I will be covering it probably on Friday, I think, is going to be when that video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm at Video Productions, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.